Good morning and good evening to everyone. Today in this video I would like to start an introduction to DB2. So this would be the first tutorial for the DB2. So let's start with the introduction about the DB2. So what is a DB2? DB2 is a relational database management system same as like uh, MySQL, Sybase or Oracle database. So in the same way DB2 is also a relational database management system. On mainframe it is stored as a separate system. Uh, DB2 software will be stored as a separate subsystem in a mainframe system. So we can have multiple DB2 systems can be created for the different environments in mainframe. Uh, so we have different environments like development environment. We can have one DB2 system for testing or QA and uh, another for production environments. So initially for a developer, developer might be you working with a developer uh, development db2 subsystems and he would be testing his queries and everything and the same way for tester he would be using these test cases and uh, he would be running performing the db2 uh, queries and finally it will be deployed to production where actual the production drive runs it is noted that every db2 system is re subsystem is recognized by a user defined names between one to eight alphanumeric characters to form a more meaningful name uh, this would be the sum of the example how the naming convention will be uh, for if it is a for a development it would be like uh, dsd1 uh, or dsd2 for the tester it would be like dst1 and dst2 and in the production it would be like same like dsp1 and dsp2 so all would be using the same characteristics or same power properties of the table just that the just the subsystem uh, i mean identifications are different right so so every db2 subsystem consists of db2 objects and which are db2 groups so these are divided into storage groups then table space index space tables index columns and row so below would be the hierarchy of how a database forms so this would be the database group is now divided into storage groups storage groups one two three development i can say environment or test so it is divided into table spaces then it is divided into index spaces then it is divided into tables then tables are divided into rows and rows are divided into columns so this would be the hierarchy storage groups table space index space tables rows and column so so this would be the hierarchy of a, any uh, database group i mean especially for the db2 this would be the hierarchy so T stands for table space, T stands for table and uh, INS stands for index space and ND stands for index, right? So V stands for the views. So all the objects can be accessed by SQL, same like Sybase, MySQL and everything. So all the objects can be accessed by SQL that is structured query language. Uh, when I talking about, when we talk about the SQL, SQL is mainly divided into DDL, DML, DCL. So this would be the hierarchy of an SQL. So we have DDL, it is mainly for data definition language, and DML it is mainly for data manipulation language, and DCL it is for data control language. It is mainly the admin role. So, so DDL, DCL it will be the part of uh, admin and DML which will be the part of the developer so we are the one so who'd be working most mostly about the DML so DDL so DDL we have a uh, we would be using commands like create alter either drop in DML we'll be using like insert delete update and select select is a very powerful tool powerful option so DCL grant revoke all the SQL commands are executed by using application program either batch or online or either by tools like QMS, Foofy or Filet. Uh, in application programs is used mainly used to handle large volume of data whereas tools are used to handle load of low volume of data. That means that mainly we use uh, tools for testing either QMF or Spoofy. So, QMF stands for Query Management Facilities and Spoofy stands for SQL Processor using File Input or either we use a Filet which is a uh, CA, it is Filet is developed by CA that is called as Computer Associates. So this would be the hierarchy, I mean SQL commands are executed in such a way like if it is application programs either it, were, it would be like a application program it runs on batch or either online. If it is a for if you are using a tool, say that you can use a QMF or you can use Poofy or you can use a file aid, right? So this was the basic introduction about the DB2 and uh, 
so we in order to work with the db2 subsystem you need to be thorough perfect with the uh, sql so if you are good with the sql then you are done with the db2 on main frame right so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video i will be coming up with more and more tutorials about the db2 if you like this video kindly please subscribe share or comment on this video thank you for watching have a great and wonderful day